Now, Sports Talk with Broads. Here's Hunter Brody. Well, the first round of the NFL draft is over, and that sure was interesting. The Philadelphia Eagles picked Jalen Rager with the 21st pick in the draft. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. Now, I'm not obsessed with the pick. I'm not going to go to the extreme and say this is the greatest pick in the world. But I'm definitely not going to overreact and say that this is the next Nelson Aguilar. This guy stinks. What the hell is Howie doing? Fire that guy. I can't believe he didn't trade up. I am clearly not going with that because I think that is nonsense. And I'm embarrassed for Eagles Twitter tonight. Truthfully, I mean that. It was disgusting to see the type of reaction that I saw by Eagles fans. Now, before we talk about this, before I even take phone calls, I need to let you know about Ravens Brew Coffee. It's it's absolutely amazing. You know me, I'm addicted to coffee. I drink 3 million cups of joe a day. When I tell you you need to buy this coffee, you need to buy this coffee. The link is in the description. You have so many choices to choose from when it comes to variety and different types of roasts. Check it out now. The link is in the description. Ravens Brew Coffee. Now, Jalen Rager. The reason I'm cool with it is because I wanted to stay put. I wanted to keep the 53rd overall pick. And the obsession with CeeDee Lamb, it got to everybody. And it sucks because he went to the Dallas Cowboys. And I think that stings. He's a good player. He will help that team. And you look at those pieces on paper and it screams, wow, great offense. But since when did on paper always relate to winning? I'll tell you something for free. It doesn't. They also have a lot of holes on defense that they did not fix due to picking C.D. Lamb. So let's not act like because the Dallas Cowboys pick C.D. Lamb, the Eagles now have no chance to, to compete for the NFC East. Where did that come from? Since when did the Dallas Cowboys acquiring C.D. Lamb ultimately mean the Eagles are screwed and they will not be able to compete for the division? I think that's full of crap. I really do. So anyway. The obsession with C.D. Lamb kicked in. It's not, wow, they picked Rager over C.D. Lamb. That, that's not what it is. Because they kept their second round pick, whoever they pick in the second round plus Rager is what it would have is what you can compare to picking C.D. Lamb. And I'm taking that any day of the week because this team has holes. This team needs more players. I like the kid. I really do. I like the kid. I think his skill set is there. And I'm not all about this one report that's going out there when it comes to his stats talking about how many drop passes he had. Because that's why everyone's comparing him to Nelson Aguilar. Because of how many passes he dropped at TCU. He also had the highest uncatchable rate as a wide receiver as well. That quarterback sucked at TCU. And you can't compare that to Carson Wentz, Dallas Goddard, Zach Ertz, Deshaun Jackson, Miles Sanders, Doug Peterson. That's in the equation. That has to be talked about when it comes to what he will be able to do on this team compared to what he did in college. He has a very unique skill set. He's fast. He's, he's, he's quick as hell. He has speed. It's what the Eagles were looking for. It was possible to touch Justin Jefferson at 21, and I thought that it was possible that they would. Adam Kaplan's reporting, though, that zero, zero percent chance the Eagles were going to go that way. And the way he put it was, look, you upgrade from Greg Ward. whoop de doo What does that really mean? You get a slot receiver in Justin Jefferson. Now, if that was the Eagles' philosophy, so be it. I think he probably could have helped a little bit more than that. I think he is a major upgrade over Greg Ward. That's my personal opinion. I would have been satisfied with Justin Jefferson as well because my theory was Justin Jefferson plus your pick at 53 is better than just CeeDee Lamb. And I agree with that with Rager as well. Rager plus whoever your pick is at 53 is better than just C.D. Lamb. And a lot of the guys inside the NFL are claiming C.D. Lamb is not as great as what the rest of the perception is in the public eye. And that's why he fell to about 
where the Dallas Cowboys picked the middle of the first round. I don't knock the Cowboys for that pick. I think it was a, a good one. It was clear the Eagles wanted to go and try and acquire this guy, right? I mean, it was obvious that if, they w- if he would have fell to 21, the Eagles would have made that move. So for the Cowboys to not only get a good wide receiver and steal him from the Eagles, by all means, touche, Jerry Jones, touche, well played. But it doesn't mean the Eagles are automatically screwed for the rest of the upcoming years because they acquired this guy. Not at all. Not at all. Have you even watched TCU play? Seriously. That has to be talked about. How many people have sat down and watched TCU play that much to say that Jalen Rager stinks? I'm going to go with a lot of people overreacting, haven't sat down and truthfully watched this kid play. Is he completely polished? No. Is any rookie walking into the first round and walking into the NFL in, in their first year completely polished? No. Especially not at 21. And for, for, for Howie Roseman to not trade up, one, I think it was smart. But two, people forget that it takes two teams to make a trade. If he wanted to move up over Dallas and Atlanta picks up the phone and goes, I'm happy with where I am. I'm satisfied with where we are as a team. I want to go out and get my guy. That's all you can do. That is all you can do. I think you need to wait and see. I really do. He's 5'11", all right? He's on the smaller side. His 40 speed was 4'47", but he's faster than that. And his vertical is insane. He has a skill set. He can make plays. He can sneak past DBs. He can play in the slot also. He can play on the outside. He can play on the slot. He can run slants. I mean, he's quick as hell. You put the ball in his hands, and he's able to run. He is what the Eagles needed. He is what the Eagles were looking for. They were looking for a player who is super fast, who can totally stretch the field. They got that. And now, all of a sudden, that's not good enough because of one man. I'm telling you, there was this obsession, obsession with CeeDee Lamb, and it got everyone triggered. And if and if CeeDee Lamb didn't go to the Dallas Cowboys, this wouldn't even be that much of a discussion. If he went where people probably projected him to go and the Eagles selected Rager and the Cowboys went out and got a piece for their secondary or got someone on the defensive side of the football, Eagles fans walk away differently. They feel differently about it. To me, it's silly to say automatically right now that this kid will not be able to make an impact. He stinks. Or hell, even he would have went in the second round. You should have traded back and got him in the second round. I I don't know if you would have lasted that much longer. The speed is a big time plus for this guy. He has that type of speed. I'm telling you, he is a guy who can totally burn DBs. So I'm intrigued by it. I really am. I I think that this guy is going to be special. He's going to help this football team. And when I say special, that's not Julio. I'm not going Julio Jones, OBJ, and claiming to the elite level. But I think he's going to be special in terms of you put the ball in his hands and he's going to be able to fly. And not only that, he can also do some returning as well, which will help this squad. Djax is getting up there in age. Maybe implement a little bit of him back there instead. It can preserve the body for Djax. Maybe he can learn a lot from Deshaun Jackson as well. And, and the way he's he's pumped up and pumped up about Carson Wentz and pumped up about being a Philadelphia Eagle, I'm all for it. Not that anybody wouldn't be pumped up to be part of an organ, organization the night that they get drafted by a specific team. But, you know, I, I just I can't even fathom how disappointed a lot of people are. And I wonder if it's because there's just no sports out there. There's no sports out there. And it's killing people. It's really hard for people to, to, you know, get that escape. I've talked about it so many times. It's hard for people to get that escape. So here's a sporting event. And they had these hopes. The obsession came in with CeeDee Lamb. He starts to fall. He starts to fall. And then here's Jalen Rayer. So because of that, the outrage was multiplied by $2 billion. I don't know what it was. But to me, I thought the outrage was so much worse than I ever would have expected. It was sort of premature, in my opinion. And, you know, you got to give this guy a chance. For what reason are you claiming that he flat out is horrible and Nelson Aguilar? There's no reason to think that. 
Wait until you see what else the Eagles acquire. If you package up their first and second round pick and then compare that to C.D. Lamb, that's the way to do it. Because that's what it would have costed, if not even more, to go up and acquire someone like C.D. Lamb. I think you got a guy who's going to make an impact based off the fact that the Eagles didn't have a lot of guys that made impacts. Alshon Jeffrey will be banged up. Deshaun Jackson, he's coming off of an injury. What will he be? We don't know. Greg Ward. I mean, the spot is there for him to play. The spot is there for him to play. He has the ability and the opportunity to go out there with that speed and help Carson Wentz and help this offense. Give him a damn chance. Give him a chance. I'm hoping people sleep on it. They take a couple deep breaths and they realize, all right, this is what we got. Let's learn more about the kid. Let's look at his skill set. Let's look at what he can bring to the table. And from there, let's reassess. Let's wait to see what how he does in the draft and let's reassess. Now, I, I, I took some phone calls for this because uh, I knew it would be hilarious. I, I knew it would be passionate and people screaming all over the place. So I thought it would be a, a great time to take some phone calls. So let's fire these bad boys off. You know, I really was hoping that I wouldn't have to call in, but I just really want to get your honest opinion, Broads. Do you really think that it was such a far-fetched idea for Howie Roseman to, you know, go up in the draft a couple of spots just to get a stud in C.D. Lamb, God forbid, even go up further in the draft and get Henry Ruggs? Or even a safety blanket pick in Justin Jefferson. But no, you go for a Jalen Rager, a DJ, a dollar store DJX? Are you kidding me? No, I feel like I'm in the boat as every other Eagles fan right now. Just so pessimistic because of, you know, the failed experiment at JJ Ortega Whiteside, but I just don't see any hope. I don't see any any upside to this pick. I just don't. You know, the fact that we saw an immediate, an immediate downside to Ortega Whiteside, and you draft an almost exact clone of him in the first round this time, it just blows my mind. I don't see how J.J. Ortega Whiteside and Jalen Rager compare at all, to be honest with you. One guy is more of an Alshon Jeffrey. He boxes people out. He can go up and get it, that type of style. Very similar to what uh, Alshon Jeffrey is. And I'll be honest with you, J.J. Ortega Whiteside is a horrible football player, in my opinion. I think he absolutely stinks. But I don't think that this compares whatsoever. I don't I don't see the comparison at all. And when you talk about going up and trading and you want to move up even further to go up and get rigs or rugs, do you know how much that would cost? That would cost a fortune to jump from 21 to where rugs went. I mean, I don't understand how people don't see that. It would cost so much, and then you would be freaking out that they don't have enter whatever position that didn't get filled here. I mean, it, it costs so much to go up. I am staying put. I thought this was a fine option. Stay put, get the guy you want, and then you still have your 53rd overall pick. I wanted that pick so bad because the, the Philadelphia Eagles have holes. They have holes, and you got to fill those holes. And how do you do that when you have a quarterback starting to get a lot of money and starting to get paid so much money? You got to draft them. You got to draft them because they don't cost a lot of money. So with that being said, you need draft picks to do that. I loved staying at 21. Yo, bro, what's going on, man? It's uh, Bobby calling from Florida. Just got done with the draft, man, and I'll tell you what, man, I still just got knots in my stomach. Um, you know, really, really, really had uh, my eyes set on Jefferson, but, you know, obviously Eagles take regular. The boys get, uh, get our guy, CD, and uh, they swoop right in front of us, man. It's like, is that payback for all those... For, for the Goddard when we jumped from them and grabbed Goddard from them. Uh, man, I just, uh, Eagles know something we all don't, man, because uh, I just hope he's not going to end up to be Jalen Ragular, man. 
Hey man, hopefully uh, tomorrow's a better day. We get a get a good day too, and day and uh, go birds, baby. Go birds, go birds. See, he mentioned our guy, CD Lamb. The Cowboys got our guy, CD Lamb. Why was he our guy? In what world was he the Eagles guy? I don't think he ever was the Eagles guy. And when you hear all these people who cover the team talk about their interest in Rager. It seemed like Rager has been their guy for quite a long time. So this just dates back to this this mindset of CD Lamb, CD Lamb, CD Lamb. I I don't know if that was ever really the case. It was just the fans' obsession with we need a receiver. Well, they got their receiver in the first round. They they got it. Give the kid a chance. What makes you think that he's automatically going to flat out suck? What? What makes you think that? Because of the dropped passes, okay, that is in there. The drop passes in is in there when it comes to him. But then let's dive deeper. Let's look at context. I'm all about context. His quarterback sucked and the highest uncatchable rate. So if you are going to use that against him, you also need to use stats that will favor him as well. The quarterback couldn't throw the football to him, and that matters. And that matters. Hey, Rhodes. Uh, I think the Jalen Rager pick is fine. I would have flipped my shit if we didn't draft a wide receiver in the first round. This team clearly needs wide receiver help, and Carson Wentz clearly needs wide receiver help. I mean, he has great speed, and we need a burner, which he is. But I just can't get over the fact that the Cowboys drafted C.D. Lamb, mainly just to spite us, kind of. I mean, like wide receiver is really the least of their issues. They have a great number one and a great number two with Cooper and Gallup, and they're going to draft a guy at 17th just to have him be the number three guy. I mean, they could have drafted a corner to replace Byron Jones or an O-lineman to uh, back up their aging O-line core, but no, they just wanted to stick it to us, essentially, which just comes off as really petty and, frankly, stupid, in my opinion. But what are you going to do? They haven't made an NFC title game since 1996. Who really gives a crap? Hopefully, Rager pick turns out, and yeah. (laughs) All right, so I'll say this. Petty, sure, smart, possibly. You mentioned the offensive line. They need help with that. You mentioned having to fill the void of Byron Jones. There's holes there. They have other problems. This was a petty pick. They knew the Eagles wanted them. They changed the way they probably targeted this draft once he started to fall, and it seemed like a a perfect combination of screwing over the Eagles and helping their offense. Okay. Okay. They still have plenty of holes. And because it's the Cowboys that landed C.D. Lamb, it tastes worse for Eagles fans, which makes a lot of sense. It stings. It's like a bee stinging you. It stings, but eventually that goes away. It doesn't mean that the Eagles are going to roll over and no way be able to play football and hang with the the Dallas Cowboys in the NFC East. I just don't see how that is possible. They went out and they got Darius Slay. Well, now that will help the way they are able to defend. And listen, they got Zeke. They got Cooper. They got Gallup. They have C.D. Lamb now. Uh, Listen, I get it. I'm not saying that they don't have powerful weapons. But I've also seen a ton of times squads have great weapons, and that doesn't always mean that they start winning a ton of football games. You can argue last year the Dallas Cowboys still had better talent than the Eagles did, and the Eagles still won the division at 9-7. and They still had phenomenal talent. They had a better defense than they did this upcoming season, right? So they, they had a lot more going for them than the Eagles did when they were on their practice squad receivers, and look what happened. It doesn't always mean domination just because on paper things look good. And I think you can even say that from an Eagles perspective because if you remember the beginning of last year, on paper, the Eagles looked magnificent. Now, they started to get banged up, and that played a big time, you know, it, it played a factor on where they were by the end of the season because they didn't have those players. But ultimately, even on paper, when they were healthy and when they were playing out there, they weren't playing great football. They weren't. So don't give me the on paper stuff. It matters when they go out there and they gel as a team. If they don't, Talent doesn't mean much, and you've seen that a lot in the NFL. Hey, bro, this by Shada Fully. I swear, Harry Bulls need to get fired. He needs to get fired. He had the chance to pick up the top three round receivers. He had a chance to get Lamb and Jerry Judy. He passed it up. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. The most part, I hate he let C.D. Lamb go to Dallas. C.D. Lamb is going to torch 
touch with Michael Gallup and Amari Cooper. Who Darius Slay going to guard now? Darius Slay got Amari Cooper. Uh, Nick Kelvin Cooper is going to get torched. City Girls is going to get torched. I'm tired of this. I'm tired. Howie Roseman cannot do it, and that's the problem. He let Gary, uh, uh, Justin Jefferson go to Minnesota. Gary Ryan Gar is not better than that. I'm sorry, but this needs to go. I'm stuck. This needs to stop, man. Howie Roseman needs to get fired before we seen one snap of this kid. Okay, what's next? Yo, bro, love you. You have the podcast. But if if Jalen Rager is in a 1,000-yard receiver next year, this is on you. I don't care what anybody says. This is on you. Wow. Hmm. I would love to know why that is. Because I didn't want to trade up? Because I value the 53rd overall pick as well? See, that's the thing. If Rager doesn't get 1,000 yards, it's not just Rager. It's not just Rager. Why is that going over everyone's head? To go up and get CeeDee Lamb, you'd have to give up more. Well, then, you need to look at everything it would have costed to go up and get him and see what the Eagles picked in all of those spots, package all of those up together, and then compare that to CeeDee Lamb. It's not that hard to figure out. How you doing, bro? Long-time fan. Love your content. Um, as far as this draft, I... Uh... I'm a little disappointed that the Cowboys got a steal on C.C. Lamb. I feel like how we should have traded up for it. But I'm still happy about the draft pick we got. And as for the more, so far, we really did need a wide receiver. But so far, just that one that one move could have made things perfect, just having Howie to move up. No, why, why, why would that be perfect? Perfect? Why? Why would that be perfect? Perfect. I don't get that. I'm not sold on that is perfect. Let's see what happens in the second round. I'm just throwing out options. If they go out and they get a KJ Hamler, now you have Rager and Hamler, two wide receivers. Now, what are we thinking then? If he goes out and get those two guys instead of just CD Lamb, to me, that's better. Even if they get that linebacker from Appalachian State, Okay, that's a big-time hold that the Eagles need to fix because right now it's Nate Gary, all right? And I'm done with that garbage. I've said it before. I'm done with that garbage. So now you're telling me you got Rager and a linebacker? I mean, come on now. That fixes two holes. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I can't say that um, passing up on that second round and moving up automatically means... We missed out on a huge opportunity. Maybe we missed out on a huge opportunity if we did trade up and then didn't acquire that second round pick. A lot of fans like to bring up J.J. Ortega Whiteside, and so do I with that second round pick. Miles Sanders, second round pick. Dallas Goddard, second round pick. Those guys are having huge impacts on this team right now. Zach Ertz was a second round pick. So was Brian Dawkins. So was Deshaun Jackson. And so was LaShawn McCoy. They've missed on second round picks too, no doubt. Talent is in the second round, though. That's the point. Game-changing talent is in the second round. It's on the Eagles to hit those guys, and that's on them, but the talent is there. So to move on from assets in the spot where talent is, I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, Hunter, since you and I seem to be the only ones that didn't want the Eagles to move up, I don't really mind the pick. I mean, how he had his conviction about this player. And, you know, he brings speed, he brings the punt return element, so you can get that out of him early. I, I don't mind it. I mean, I honestly thought they were going to take Jefferson when it came to pick 21, but I think this is a better pick. And, you know, all the so-called draft experts that are on YouTube and on the boards, a lot of them watch five minutes of college football and think they know the player is great and who's going to suck. We'll have to see. I mean, let's put him out there. He's got a good quarterback to work with. He'll see the football. You know, give him a chance. I'm not upset about the pick at all. 
Couldn't agree more. I could not agree more. Give the kid a chance before you start ripping him. If he turns into J.J. Ortega Whiteside, then by all means, you can destroy the pick. And you can scream at Howie Roseman and you can freak out. Right now, you don't know much. You don't know much about the guy other than he has speed, the Eagles love him, and he does have a skill set that can be very beneficial to this Eagles football team. And when you relate it to what they have right now at that position, they upgraded. They upgraded from the position they needed to get a guy like this they got a guy like this let's give him the shot hey under what's up listen i know we just got jalen rieger and all and boy i tell you what i have a lot of mixed emotions about this uh i'm happy but i'm also sad could have had a chance to get lamb Could have had a chance to trade up, but we didn't. And I know you're not big on the idea of trading up to get a big-name guy. But, man, I really think we could have gotten a better guy than Jalen Rieger. But I'm not as upset as a lot of people are. Oh, man. But I just wanted to share those thoughts and uh, wonder what you think about it. See you. I I think that's a good way to put it. I think that's a fair way to put it. If you... If you felt like it was possible to get that CD lamb, look, you're disappointed. You thought you could have done it, but you're not truly crushed with Jalen Rager. I'll take that. I'm more satisfied with that than 98% of what I have been seeing. I just don't understand and I can't comprehend it because, you know, as Eagles fans, what did we want? We wanted a, a, a wide receiver who had speed, who can make some plays. All right, well, let's look at this. What did they get? They got Jalen Rager, who is a wide receiver, who is fast, who can make some plays. I don't know. I mean, am I missing something here? Let's see how it all plays out. Justin Jefferson was available. I get not going for him. I wouldn't have been upset if they got him. He would have been consistent. He would have been able to... He would have been able to been reliable. You need a reliable guy. He probably would have spent a lot of time in the slot, which is the reason why they didn't go out and get him. They wouldn't spend a first-round pick on an upgrade on Greg Ward when they can get an explosive speed guy in Rager. I do understand that mindset. I really do. But I wouldn't have been mad with someone like Justin Jefferson. The big thing I talked about all week long and earlier in the morning when I looked at this day and said, it's draft day, keep that 53rd pick. Keep that 53rd pick. I value that second round pick. I want to see what these two players can be. First plus second round. The third, the fourth, and those picks like that, yes, they mean stuff. But when it comes to guys that I expect to walk in instantly and help this football team, it was the first and second round. And I wanted to get two guys, two for sure guys, that would be able to really be a factor and help out this team right from the jump. And I think they have an opportunity to do that. Let's see what they do. I value those two spots more than I value just a C.D. Lamb. And once again, because he went to the Cowboys, it hurts a little bit more. It stings. The word is sting. It doesn't destroy or dominate or crush the Philadelphia Eagles. It stings the Eagles. And I got some replies that, you know, just wait for game one against the Cowboys. Just wait for him to go off for 100 plus yards because you know that's going to happen. Is it just me or... I I don't know. Does one game mean everything? So if they play one game and CeeDee Lamb goes off and they win the football game the Cowboys do, that automatically means the Dallas Cowboys are the the smartest fans or the smartest uh, organization in the world? I'm going to go with no. Let's be real. Most of the time, the Eagles split with the Cowboys every year. Isn't that how it goes pretty much every single season for the most part? There's a split involved. Let's relax. Let's take a deep breath. Let's let's assess this in the morning when people get some rest. We're not in the worst position. I promise you that. Jalen Rager, be intrigued. Be intrigued by his skill set. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and comment down below if you are watching on YouTube. And if you are listening to this on Apple Podcasts or any other podcasting platform, please leave a review and a rating. You can use the review system as a comment spot as well. I do read those. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.